Once I hit like 13 or 14, I got to get really bitchy. But um, <laughs> then I got all sweet and nice again. But um, being a teenage teenager sucks. And um, I haven't been a teenager in a really long time, but I remember it like it was yesterday. And um, I heard this really amazing story from this woman we worked with once who was talking about when she brought her daughter home from the hospital and she sat down when she got home with the baby and he sat in the rocking chair and she started to cry almost immediately. And as she was telling the story, it was like, it was so beautiful and sweet. And I was like, oh, and then she was like, yeah, I was crying because I thought she's going to have to go to junior high. And it really, that story really struck home for me because junior high in the province that we're from is grade seven, eight, and nine. And so you go from being 11 or 12 years old to being like 13. And like the switch from elementary school to junior high is so massive, it's so insane. Like literally grade six, cool to hang out with boys and girls, co-ed, you know, nobody does anything except for maybe sometimes hold hands and like you play Super Nintendo Mario Karts and you uh, wear, yeah, which is a bad game by the way. And you know, you wear Mickey Mouse, you know, and you, and, and you know, you play like made up games on the weekend with your best friend, et cetera, et cetera. And all of a sudden, grade seven comes along, and it's like everybody's in a gang, and they're hanging out at the mall, and you have to like try smoking, and everyone like your language becomes littered with the you know bad ones, and you can't pay attention at school or else you're in school. Like all these horrible things just entered into my world, and I was already really sensitive. Plus, that was like the year that I decided I wasn't going to cry anymore, and like holy shit, did I ever have a lot to cry about then? And like just all of it inside. <laughs> Anyway, um, the song's not about that. Um, the song's about being another age, except that when I wrote the song I was 25, but I felt like I was 19 again. Um, 19 to me represented the age of like, I basically when I was 19, I moved um, to a different city, away from my family, I moved out on my own, and moved in you know, with my girlfriend and I got a cat and we broke up right away and, um, and then I signed a record deal and I went to Sarah for the last 10 years and, um, but... How's the cat? The cat is no longer mine. So, yeah. We were together in a very short period of time and it was decided that without the cat that it would not be mine if we broke up. Because I can't, well no, in fact it was actually like very nice of this person to do this because I'm an irresponsible musician who can barely keep plants alive. So, um, oh, the fish is, the fish is out of it. I know a lot of people have been asking about Emily the fish when she passed away, um, I know, a few months ago. But seriously, I, I mean, I kept her alive for about a year and a half, which was pretty amazing. I mean, and when I got her, she was like, you know, just a little bit, and she got to be pretty big, and then I let my friend Lisa, who used to work with Sarah and I, tour manager and us and stuff, she's great, and, um, I let her, t I let her take care of the fish for me. <laughs> Uh, she took care of the fish for me, and um, she didn't wash the fish tank for like a year. And, and Emmy just grew bigger and bigger and bigger and seemed totally happy. And then um, Lisa cleaned the fish tank, and soon afterwards, Emmy died. <laughs> it's not funny, it's very sad. Um, so I'm going to dedicate this one to Emmy. Emmy was there when I wrote this song, in fact, so I'm going to dedicate this song to her. Oh, I this is the best part, but I had two fish when I got the fish. One was named Sarah. Wait, 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 wait. What? Can we just please, can we please just highlight that you started the story by saying that this is the best part? <laughs> Which part? What you're about to say is, in your mind, the best part. Oh, yeah? Okay. It is. Well, it's the best part of the story. It's funny because I got the fish. I got, I got the fish because I thought, like, Sarah and her partner, I mean, does all of our creative designs, including the backdrop and all the merchandise he graciously purchased from us. Yeah. They, um, you know, they were like my, my buddies, my partners in life, too. And um, so I bought fish and named them Sarah and Emmy. <laughs> and, then, and then Sarah died, really quickly. Um, she didn't, I think she lasted about three months. And um, I was actually hot and choked up when she passed, so. Imagine that. I was really sad, actually. Um, I don't want my sister to be dead. I keep making references about that. I'm sorry. Um, so I dedicate this song to Emmy and Sarah and 
sad person. The fish, right? Like, let's just, this has been a very confusing five minutes, and these are, these are actual fish that swim in the water that Tegan bought for a very low price. Like, when they, they're not me. Oh, because they're not expensive? They're not, their life is worth nothing? <laughs> These are cheap fish, people. Don't get upset. I'm gonna attach to Emmy. Okay, she was a cheap fish. She, she was one of those orange ones. She was cute. She, was, she made a lot of things. Anyway. Sorry about the confusing five minutes. Basically, the recap is, is that I wasn't a big baby my whole life. I just started internalizing it in junior high, which really sucks because that's when the whole blowjobs and like smoking and all that stuff starts. And I totally did not want to be part of any of it. And then. I got two fish when Amy and Sarah and Amy and Sarah died really soon and Amy just died and we're up to speed. The song's called 19.